Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. I'm John the Video Guy and in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can really make it frame anything inside After Effects. Whether you wanna make some snow animation or maybe you just wanna make it rain cows or cats for some reason, this effect is pretty cool. First, what I'm gonna do is go up to Composition, New Composition. I'll just name this Make It Rain. I'll choose 1920 by 1080 and 29 frames per second is good for the frame rate. I'm making my composition 30 seconds long, then click OK. What I have in the project panel is some imported assets already. And if you wanna follow along in this tutorial, feel free to download them in the link below. They're just sample files, but you can really do this for anything. So in this case, I'm gonna click on this rain can. I'm just gonna import it into my timeline here. Next, what I'm gonna do is go to Layer New Solid. And I'll name this Particles. Make sure that you click on Make Comp Size and click OK. Next, what we'll do is go to our Effects and Presets panel and type for CC Particle World. And this will be the effect that generates the rain effect. Drag it to your Solid and go out in your timeline a few seconds. And now you can see that the particles are generating. What we'll do next is actually hide the rain can. So we'll just click on the eye tool and then we'll click on the particles layer. And then first what we'll do is go under the particle menu. And the key here is to change the particle type from line to textured square. And now what you'll notice is underneath the particle type, you can untwirl texture and actually change it to another layer. So in this case, we'll change it to the rain layer. Now you can see it's actually generating particles based off of the rain layer beneath it, which is pretty cool. Now a few of the settings you'll want to change here. Below, I've changed the birth size to zero, that way it's coming from nothing. Now I'll increase the death size a little bit to maybe 1.5. Size variation, I'll change up to 100. And max opacity, I'll just make it 100, that way it's fully opaque. Now you'll notice that it's actually using the color map below, but to change it back to the original layers color, what you'll want to do is click on the drop down and go to origin constant. And this will make sure that it remains the same. It won't change the color of your original artwork. Next, what we'll do is we'll change some of the producer and physics settings. So up here, we'll change the longevity to 10. We'll leave the birth rate at two. Uh, we'll go under producer and we'll change the Y value to negative 0.2. So it brings it up a little bit and then we'll change the radius to 1.5. And we'll change the Y radius to 0.5 and we'll change the Z radius to three. Now the radius, it really depends how you want it to look. The Z radius will make the cans very close to the camera. So you'll notice as we go forward here, there's a lot of depth in the shot. Next, let's go under physics. We'll change the animation to twirl and we'll change the velocity to zero. We'll change the gravity to 0.02. Now I'll kind of constrain so that there's more cans or textures in the shot here. And now when we play this back, you'll see that we have some nice falling rain, making it rain everyday particles in our animation. Like I said earlier, if you don't like the texture being too close to the camera, you can change the radius Z to maybe one or smaller. That way they're a little further from the frame. And like I was saying, you can make this for anything. So if you wanted to change this out, you can click on the layer in the timeline, go to your project panel, click on maybe this cat, hold down option or alt on a PC and click and drag it to your timeline. And now you'll notice that we have fallen cats. You can change it to the cow or you can do something more maybe realistic like a snowflake for a nice winter scene. And really depending on the texture that you choose, you might have to change your settings. For the snowflake, for example, we might want to decrease the birth rate so if there's a less of them and maybe go down to death size and change it to 0.5 that way they're a little bit smaller but that's how you can create any falling texture inside after effects if you guys actually want to see how to actually render this out out of after effects with transparency so that you can put it over anything be sure to check out this video right up there where i explain how to do that otherwise thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time